Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Happy New Year to all of you um, who I haven't reached out to, I haven't seen the community post. I wish you all a fabulous 2020. And I'm coming to you today with an energy forecast because we have a full moon today and it's a lunar eclipse. And there's so much. And I know that you have been experiencing this. I know that you've been feeling it. And I just wanted to encapsulate it for you. So what are we dealing with? Well, we are basically having our work set out for us for the next six months. So whatever issues have come up for you, whatever has been coming to the fore in your life in the last two months, well, let's just say, especially from around the end of September till about the mid-November, and then again uh, in the last two weeks, it would have been highlighted in the last two weeks. So it would have been, like discussions about that or thinking about it or the theme would have come to the fore in October or November and then in the last week or week and a half you would have found that those themes are requiring urgent attention. Now it might be in terms of your work, it might be in terms of decisions that you might have to make, it might be in terms of administrative and bureaucratic matters or it might just be in relationships. So whichever area in which this impacts you, it's basically saying to you that this is what we need to work with, or this is what we're dealing with, and this is what you need to have mastered or worked with or come through, uh, work through the obstacles by June. So when we have the next eclipse season starting in, in June, you need to have mastered everything that you're going through right now. So by then you would have come to the decision that you need to have made, or you come to a certain kind of uh, space of stability, uh, or balance in you which you've been seeking and so that is what this energy has been about and how has it been manifesting in terms of physical well for you it might have been manifesting in many different ways it could be manifesting in that you have the same symptoms or the same feelings that you've had in in terms of your health in October and uh, in November it might be that you you suddenly you know you've had a bit of a reprieve perhaps in 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 December or for a short period and then those things are highlighted again or it might be that a certain interest that you had uh, you taken in October November comes to the fore again you find yourself reading a similar literature or listening to the similar types of music or you might find that um, you're just being reminded of something in the past that you've kind of that's been out of focus or in your blind spot for the last for the last well, for about three or four weeks uh, around December. And it's come back into focus and it's almost like urging you for your attention. It's almost like trying to say, hey, listen up, you know, do you remember me? I, I have something to say to you and there's a message in there for you. So how else would you be experiencing this? Well, some of you may be in a degree of um, anxiety or in some kind of busyness or madness or turmoil or kind of feeling of being unsettled. It's definitely not a peaceful time. This eclipse is like being so many things to the fore and things that you thought you had decided already are going to be re-decided uh, or you going, is coming up for reconsideration at the very least. And you may be like feeling quite concerned, quite flustered, like there's a lot of things in the air all at once. And um, so that is for some of you, you may be feeling that. For others of you, it might be that there, there is a feeling of defensiveness. There's a feeling of having to take care of oneself, having to look out for oneself. If there are things that have been pushed under the carpet, brushed under the carpet for the last uh, six months of uh, 2019, you're going to find that that's come to the fore again and it no longer can be pushed under the carpet. So a lot of things are gonna come to be aired out. Uh, you might find that people make confessions or that certain things that happened many, many years ago in the past are coming to the fore and being discussed again. And it's it's to be welcomed. So at first it may bring you a feeling of dis-ease or uh, it may disturb you in some way, but recognize that whatever is happening right now is actually saying, well, this is where I need to be learning from and this is where we headed to. Because come the next eclipse season by June, you need to have mastered all of this stuff because then you're going to have a new uh, set of 
things that you're going to be working with or dealing with. And it's you need to have acquired these skills already in order to be able to, or the skills that you would have acquired as a result of dealing with whatever you're dealing with right now. Uh, and these are not always bad things. Eh? This could mean simply that you are just learning something new. You know, you need maybe to learn a new skill in order to be able to use it later on. So it really impacts you in very different ways, every one of us in a very unique way. But what I was trying to say is that you you come to June and then you're going to realize, oh, I need to do now. I need like something else is going to be peeled. It's like something else is going to be uncovered, which you need to learn another challenge or another. Well, not necessarily an obstacle, but something else that you need to work with. And and then you're going to be spending time from June till about August or September working with that. And come December or November, actually, in December, you're going to be like checking well what is your progress what's the progress been like so i talk about it in terms of eclipses because the eclipse energy is a very interesting energy and i feel this energy very strongly it's i feel this energy less the energy less strongly when there's a planet in motion or other you know astrological events although they can also i can also feel that but i feel that um we are we are all one organism right this whole universe and all the universes we are all connected so you know the storm that's going on for 300 years in jupiter impacts us also everything impacts us and it depends on how you feel in any given moment uh you will be connected regardless to everything in every given moment so but I talk about the eclipses and I don't talk about the other events, largely because, as I mentioned many times, I'm not an astrologist uh, and I don't have any astrology training, although I do know the basics. But the but the events uh, for the eclipses are like on another level completely. So it brings a different energy to it. It brings a great energy of transformation and it can also bring quite a dangerous energy. Uh, to it at times and we've seen that in the last few years like two to three years ago the energy that the eclipses were bringing were, were quite uh quite it's bringing like a kind of dangerous energy how can i explain that it's like you really need to pay attention to this or, or there will be consequences but this energy is not like that i would say that this energy is um a fairly it's like a mature type of eclipse it's not throwing a tantrum uh, and so it's easier to work with this. In fact, uh, for some of us, it's, it's a lot of internal work. For some of us, it's definitely external. And for some of us, it's beyond us. So it's happening in our environment with people that we live with, or with people that we engage with quite regularly and therefore impacts us indirectly. But it's um, still moving us in a way. It's transformative energy. Okay, uh, so that's one of the reasons I like to talk about this. The other way uh, you might have been experiencing this is that it's kind of, uh, I don't actually know if there's a Mercury retrograde right now <laughs> because I haven't checked and I'm only paying attention, but you might have a kind of Mercury retrograde kind of feeling, you know, things breaking, a miscommunication, uh, typing errors, uh, but it, it's those kind of things. So I know I've been, <laughs> having difficulty just typing the simplest sentence without having uh, without um, um, making mistakes. So you might find that certain payments go off your account, etc., uh, which are not authorized. And it's not problematic in, in that it, it just requires a little bit of extra care and attention. Um, and you can get this back. So it's not like you're going to have, it's not like an energy of thieving or, or, or robbery or something like this. It's not that kind of energy. It's just that things are kind of off balance a little bit. And I would say this is quite a mercurial energy. So for those of you who are astrology fans, uh, because it deals with communication, it deals with travel, it deals with uh, payments of sorts, like banking and uh, emails, or like um, messages being having to go back and forth or it could deal with have to do with technical things you might also find an urge to um, look into kind of technical things at the moment or deal with something that's technical but this is not something that's going to last okay so if you are not necessarily a technical type of person you don't care too much about um yeah, technical matters. I don't know how else to express, express that. But if you're not really into engineering or technical things and you find like you suddenly have an interest in that, 
that's going to pass you know give it another week or two and that energy is going to just go right out the window and you are going to be grateful for that information that you've researched uh, and that you've gained in the in the meanwhile but it's going to be something that you going to be wondering like a few months down the line why was I even thinking about that why was I so interested in that it's just a phase and I think this kind of phase this kind of energy would you be, would have been experiencing from about the last week of December 2019 so um, that's all that I have to say right now and I think that if there's anything else I will comment it I will post it in the comment section of this video uh, if there's something I've forgotten but those are some of the things I want to talk to you about and ask you have you also been feeling this because I know that a lot of the clients I've been talking to have been feeling that and I've also experienced a, a bit of that energy and that's what I've been feeling you know that's what's in the air for me right now and um, how long is this energy gonna last well today is the eclipse so it's being eclipsed out I think another week and a half maybe two weeks for some of you two and a half weeks lingering energy and then you're out of it and uh, you can actually go on in quite a normal way but this energy is almost like a surf you know you like a wave surfing you bring you in the surf to the shore and it's gonna land you somewhere so it's gonna where you're gonna land uh, in about two and a half weeks from now is going to be where you'll be or where your your energy will be or the space that you'll be in and what you'll be working in consistently and with stability till come end of May June uh, yeah so this is the this time uh, from about two and a half weeks from now and I'll probably do an energy forecast in um, in February for this but yeah from the last week of January till about the last week of May or the first week of June uh, that kind of area that is an, a time frame that is going to be quite a productive time frame if you can use it and I see a lot of goodness coming out uh, of this time frame like a lot of benefits you may have many wins many gains many many kind of um, a blossoming of, of things that has come from transformation if you felt that the last few years have been quite stagnant for you this is a time uh, from now already it might have begun for you of great movement things have been moving quite a lot and you're going to find that from about February till the beginning of June or so there's going to be a big chunk of that transformation finding a space for itself to settle and for you to uncover the jewels of that uh, uncover the gems of that the un understand the meaning of it all and recognize the value in it okay so um, well I hope that's a, that's been how I hope that that's been uh, useful for you and I'm wishing you all a great January and I'll come back to you with an energy forecast in February or before if I feel that's something that needs to be spoken about and in the meanwhile um, I for those of you who've um, been w were winners in the giveaway well congratulations I'm a little bit late sending those uh, audio files to you but I will eventually uh, well uh, I will next week not eventually I will I will during uh, next week and uh, apologies to any of you who've booked with me and I haven't come back to you or your um, yeah apologies for all the delays there's just a few delays on my end at the moment there are also some videos which I've shot already and are waiting to be edited uh, so I can upload them and they mainly have to do with the energy uh, that we can experience all through 2020 but dealing with love and with work and spirituality and and all of that and I, I'm sorry it's just been sitting there and I have no time to edit it but I'm going to try and get them all out to you before the end of this month <laughs> all right so uh, yeah I will be back uh, you'll see the next video for me I think um, on Sunday with your article reading and uh, in the meanwhile once again I wish you all very well and uh, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.